Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this tag. Now I've called this the festive forager because it's like this little robin sitting atop a snowdrift staring at the last holly berry for miles. Festive forager. I think it's rather fun. Anyway, enough of me. Let's go and see how this is done. Ah, so we're using masking sheets and this is going to be our prep bit. So I've got a large watercolour tag, watercolour card tag. And there's my masking sheets that I've cut down to size. They come as A4 sheets and I've just cut it down to overlap that tag. And I'm just working out what sort of shape I want to do going around the outside of the tag helps line everything up if you've got something to work against like the outline and I'm just cutting that out now usually I would wait until I've got the design done as well but in this time I've decided I'm cutting it out and I'm using those hill masks and there we go taken the underside of a hill mask to create that shape. Using my Sizzix scissors to cut that out. And popping those masking sheets back down, using the outline to guide me, the outline of the tag that I drew. Um, am I going to stick this down? No, I'm not. <laughs> I did wonder. So I've got my size 3 stencil brush. I've also got some blue atoll. And I'm going to say, let it snow. Although it's quite cold when it does. Anyway, so we're just going to do a tiny little bit of blending along the top with Elements Ink Blue Atoll of our Snowdrift. Pristine white snow we're after. And I'm just not adding any more ink to my brush because the subtle... Oh, hello, I did. The, uh, the subtle colour that you get from the end of the ink on your brush is just all you need really for going around the edges and creating extra snowy bits. So I'm just popping the masking sheet back over the bit I've just worked on. As you can see. And once that's in place, removing the top bit so that we can work on the sky in the background. And what are we going to do now? Well, we've now gone on to something larger. We've got Elements Ink Dark Denim and a size 9 stencil brush. And I'm just taking it over the back of the card. Doesn't look like much colour, but there is colour there. So that was our dark denim. And this is confetti because I want some nice colour. You know that pinky colour when the sky is about to let loose some snow? I always look for that. So I've just put a tiny little bit of pink on there. So I've got some Mystical Mica spray Blue Moon, which is lovely. It's got this subtle sheen of silver to it. And I'm only trying to keep it near the top, which is where I'm not going to stamp. And some acrylic spray periwinkle and some, oh, what's it called? Midnight Blue, acrylic spray, Midnight Blue. Topped it off with a little bit more periwinkle to make it move more. And I've tipped it, hopefully, upside down. But I'm just going to make sure that there's a nice amount at the top and it doesn't overtake in the middle with a nasty line. So all I used was some kitchen paper that I'd rolled up. 
and just dabbed it. It's not really that te technical. It's just like I took some of it off with some kitchen paper. But look, it's quite effective. And so I'm just going to heat it, or rather dry it off, with a heat tool. And get rid of the bits at the back. <laughs> so now we're going to do some stamping. But the question is, what are we going to stamp? So obviously I've just pointed there. We're going to put something there. So I have got some, that's the mini holly. It's a mini holly stamp, which I'm inking up with Versafine Claire Nocturne. There we go. It will be sticking out of that snowdrift. And then this is the bird collection stamp and I've chosen the larger of the robin shapes to sit atop that snowdrift. Again, inked up with Versafine Claire Nocturne. So now let's do some embossing. So I've made sure it's all dry and I'm using that magic anti-static pad. And I've got my winter magic stamp, which I'm inking up with Versamark. I'm plopping that down there, adding some wow embossing powder, opaque bright white regular, which is fab for this time of year. And just heating it up until it all snaps to. Doing the same sort of thing here, but with Versafine Claire Paradise. So I'm inking it up with Versafine Claire. And it's a paradise blue. Which when you tie it all together, looks rather lovely. It all tones in. So here we go with Posca pens and finishing touches. So I've got my white Posca pen, just in case some of your stamp might not have come out. Sometimes it happens. It only takes the flick of a wrist, doesn't it, for something to go wrong. And I'm just adding some Posca pen to help me out here, there and everywhere. Adding some snow. And there's our red Posca pen going in to do the holly berries and Robin's red breast. Otherwise, he would be really in disguise. I rather like him like that. So I'm just outlining the um, holly leaves with apple green Posca pen because you don't really need to colour it totally in green. Just give that hint. So I've taken my Zig two-way glue pen and I'm going around the outside because when I looked at it back there I thought it needed a little bit of twinkle but not too much twinkle, just subtle twinkle. So I'm just going to heat up that glue that I've just put along the edges until it gets tacky, a bit like um, the back of a uh, postage stamp. And now I've got some fab foil, teal colour, I'm just running it colour side up along there and can you see that flash of colour just makes all the difference to it lovely same routine again popping it down freehand heating it up so it goes tacky adding the foil I'm just going to pop some of the teal into the design now in little dots And just heat it up, let it go tacky, and add the foil, just as before. And keep going until you're satisfied. I did do that final edge. 
so pleased. I was wondering, why on earth haven't you done it? Anyway, I have. And I rather like that festive forager. So as he sits in the light, can you see that sparkle on the top right? Add an eye for good luck. And then, my friends, once you've put some highlights on the berries, you have done it. You have made a festive forager tag. Well done. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. Because it's quite simple for me, I tend to go, you may have noticed, uh, all out and chuck everything at it. Um, and, and this just seemed really pared back and that's what winter can be like once we've got that blanket of snow everything gets pared back and becomes really simple because it's just covered in this white blanket and everything for that split second looks clean sparkly and lovely so I was quite chuffed when I put the, the fab foil on and stuff that it just gave it that little bit of winter sparkle Anyway, chit chat, chit chat. So, thank you for coming along and doing this tag with me. I hope you've had fun. I have, certainly have. Um, if you've got any comments you'd like to make, please pop them in the post below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But in the meantime, wrap up warm and you stay, stay safe and take care. Bye bye.